Hi students. In this session, we are going to discuss about specific rotation. Specific rotation is a quantity that represents the intensity of optical activity of a substance. It gives a representation of the intensity of the optical activity of a substance. So what is meant by optical activity? When a beam of plane polarized light is passed through certain substances, its plane of polarization gets rotated through a certain angle of rotation. And this phenomenon is called optical activity. And substances which are capable of rotating the plane of polarization of plane polarized light are called optically active substances. Now the angle of rotation through which the plane of polarization is rotated is directly proportional to the path length of light through the sample and the concentration of the solution. That is theta is proportional to L and C or the proportionality sign can be removed by using a constant theta equal to SLC or S equal to theta by LC and this S is called the specific rotation. So I am going to define specific rotation by assigning unit values to L and C. That is the specific rotation for a given wavelength of light at a given temperature is defined as the angle of rotation or it is that angle of rotation produced when the plane polarized light is passed through an optically active material of unit length and unit concentration. I gave L equal to 1 and C equal to 1 and I defined S equal to that angle of rotation theta when L and C are unity. Now the conventional unit for specific rotation is degree per decimeter gram per cc. But here there is a difficulty because we usually measure length in centimeters. But here in the unit it is given in degree per decimeter gram per cc. So what we do is we modify the equation for specific rotation as S is equal to 10 theta by LC. How did this 10 come? That is accounted by the conversion of centimeter to decimeter. So that you take the reading in centimeter, substitute it here, but your answer will automatically be in decimeters because the conversion is already done here. So S is equal to degree per decimeter gram per cc. So you substitute L in centimeters, but the answer is in decimeters. So this is normally the equation that you use for calculating specific rotation. S equal to 10 theta by LC. So here once again we have defined optical activity, the ability to rotate the plane of polarization of plane polarized light by certain substances like quartz etc. is called optical activity and substances showing the ability of optical activity are called optically active substances. Example quartz, cinnabar and aqueous solutions of glucose, fructose, turpentine etc. Now depending on the direction of rotation, optical rotation is divided into two, dextro rotation and levo rotation. In dextro rotation, if the plane of polarization gets turned towards the right when viewed against the direction of light, then the optical rotation is called dextro rotation. Cane sugar, sodium chloride, glucose, etc. are examples of dextro rotatory substances. That is the source of light is the plane of polarization is the clockwise direction. Atherium optical rotation and dextro rotation in the molecule. Similarly, if the plane of polarization gets turned towards the left or anti clockwise when viewed against the direction of light, then the optical rotation is called levo rotation. Example, fructose, turpentine, etc., are examples of levo rotatory substances. Next, what is a polarimeter? A polarimeter is an instrument used for measuring the angle of rotation of the plane of polarization of the plane polarized light when it passes through an optically active substances and from this measured angle of rotation we can calculate the specific rotation of the solution. 
okay so polarimeter is an instrument using which we measure the angle of rotation of the plane of polarization of the plane polarized light when it passes through an optically active substance that our angle of rotation the value we have to do specific rotation calculate in s equal to 10 theta by lc in the equation we have to do that and how do you actually do the measurements using a polarimeter now the polarimeter as shown in the figure consists of a convex lens an equal prism which is the polarizer something called a Lorentz half shade plate in this half shade plate one half is made of quartz and the other half is made of glass and then you have a tube which contains a glass tube which contains the optically active solution then a rotating analyzer n2 and the telescope to view the uh, plane of polarization or to view whatever you see through uh, the whatever you have to observe so this is the construction of or whatever is contained inside the poly polarimeter tube that is the convex lens polarizer half shade plate tube containing the solution analyzer and the telescope now all these are arranged in a long tube the analyzer n2 can be rotated and the angle of rotation can be measured using a circular scale attached to it now how is the working now light from the source s is rendered parallel using the convex lens and on passing through the polarizer it becomes plane polarized and then it passes through the half shade plate the glass tube containing the solution and the analyzer the final image is viewed through the telescope now first what you do is you fill the glass tube with distilled water now when you look through the eyepiece you will be able to see the two halves of the half shade plate i told you one half of the half shade plate is made of quartz and the other half is made of glass you will be able to see both the halves of the half shade plate but both the halves will show different intensities of light one half may be dark and the other half may be bright now what you do is you rotate the analyzer n2 so that both the halves of the half shade plate becomes equally dark at this position you stop the rotation of n2 and note the position on the circular scale or uh, circular scale attached to the analyzer and uh, let that reading be theta 1 that is position when both the halves of the half shade plate are equally dark next you take the glass tube and fill it with the given solution whose specific rotation is uh, to be determined the glass tube should be absolutely filled with the solution in all the cases without any bubbles then what we do is again repeat the same procedure once you replace water with the solution whose uh, specific rotation is to be determined again you will see both the halves of the half shade plate will now be dif having different intensities again you rotate the analyzer in two so that you get a different position when both halves of the half shade plate becomes equally dark why has the position changed because you have replaced the solution in the glass tube again the reading of this new position is noted on the circular scale which is theta 2 now the reading of theta 2 minus the value theta 2 minus theta 1 gives you the angle of rotation theta of the plane of polarization the position that you took with liquid i mean with the distilled water is a reference point now the experiment is repeat, rotate, uh, repeated with different concentrations of solution. You vary the concentration of solution and fill it in the glass tube. Repeat the same. And you plot a graph between concentration and the angle of rotation. For the different concentrations, you get different angles of rotation. And you plot a graph, you get a straight line. The slope of this graph will gi give you theta by c. Now substitute it. In the equation s equal to 10 theta by lc lc is obtained by simply measuring the length of the tube because it has been filled completely with the solution without any bubbles so you just substitute the length of the tube here so from this equation s equal to 10 theta by lc you will be able to calculate the value of s for the given solution so this is how the specific rotation of a given solution is calculated that is First, you take the glass tube, fill it with liquid and 
place it inside the polarimeter tube uh, fill it with distilled water and place it inside the polarimeter tube looking through the eyepiece of the telescope you will view the two halves of the half shade plate as having different degrees levels of brightness rotate the analyzer in two so that both halves appear equally dark note that position as theta 1 from the circular scale now take the glass tube again replace it with the liquid whose um, specific rotation has to be measured now when you look through the eyepiece of the telescope again you will find that both the halves of the half shade plate has different degrees of brightness rotate the recall prism in two till both the halves become equally dark and that position is noted as theta 2 theta 2 minus theta 1 gives you the angle of rotation this procedure is followed for repeated for different concentration of the solution plot a graph between concentration and angle of rotation the slope will give you theta by c the length of the glass tube gives the path length of light through the solution now using the equation s equal to 10 theta by lc you can calculate the specific rotation of a given liquid i hope uh, the experimental procedure to determine the specific rotation of the liquid is clear to you. If you have any doubts, please do contact. Thank you.